Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my at-home gel manicure using the Palette Gel Polish Kit. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. So here are my crusty ass looking nails that desperately need some TLC. So I've just started doing gel manicures at home and I've been using the Opalac Gel Polish Kit. I bought this kit at Priceline in Australia for $89 and it comes with everything you need for a DIY gel manicure. So you get the LED UV lamp, a nail file and buffer, three gel nail colours, a top and base coat and a two-in-one soak solution and a roll of gel nail remover pads. So I'm going to start by removing my old gel polish which is just over two weeks old and I'm using the nail file that came with the kit and just gently buffing the top of the nail polish off for a few seconds on each nail just to break it down. These are the gel polish remover wraps that you get with the kit and it comes with 30 pads and I'm just unrolling the wraps and cutting out five pads for my fingers. So for this video, I'm only filming how to do a manicure on one hand, but for this part, if you're doing both hands, you can cut out 10 pads. However, when it comes to actually applying the gel polish, it is recommended to finish one hand at a time, which I have found to be the easiest way to do it. Now I'm grabbing my 2-in-1 Shine and Soak and just saturating the pad with the solution and then I'm wrapping the strip around each finger. That pink material is self-adherent so you don't have to worry about it unraveling and I actually use a very similar material called Coban at work and I use it as a secondary dressing when I've done um, toenail surgeries to wrap the toes and it's really easy because it just sticks to itself. Once you've wrapped all fingers, you want to leave it on for about four to five minutes until you loosen the gel. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to give a shout out to two of my new subscribers in this video. I've decided that I'm going to give a shout out to my new subscribers in every video going forward as a way to say thank you. Um, as someone that suffers from clinical depression, making videos for you guys really makes me happy and I love interacting with you because you guys are so smart and funny and this is just a small way of saying thank you for supporting me. So in today's video, I'm giving a shout out to my new lovely subscribers, Hothan Ahmed and Crystal Sharina. Thank you so much. Now I'm just removing the wraps and gently scraping off the polish. This is my own cuticle pusher that I'm using and unfortunately one does not come with the Opalac gel kit but I'm sure we all have one lying around and you can pretty much use anything. You could even use your fingers to scrape the polish off but it's just easier to do it this way. Now I'm using the nail buffer and gently buffing away any remaining polish and you don't need to be really exact and perfect with this because we are going to be buffing the nail again before we apply the gel polish. After I finished buffing my nails, I just went and washed my hands with soap and water and just drying them off really well now. Now I've just gone back to the nail file and just gently shaping my nails. I like a pretty standard shape. My nails just grow square so I kind of stick to that natural shape that I have. Now I've cleaned my cuticle pusher of that polished dust that we had and just pushing back my cuticles and cutting off any you know, excess skin. Which is kind of gross when you look at it but 
I kind of like watching this part in other like manicure videos. I find it so satisfying. So I thought I let leave like one finger in for people like me. So now we're going back to that nail buffer and we're going to buff the top of the nails again just to create a sort of grainy surface for the gel polish to adhere to. You really want to make sure that you don't have any oils or creams on your skin or particularly your nails because the gel polish will not um, stick well onto the nail surface. So after I've just buffed off um, that top layer again, I'm going in with that shine and soak solution and getting rid of any um, sort of nail dust. So now for the gel polish application I'm going in with the gold bottle which is the base coat and just applying that very carefully onto the nails. Now I've turned on the UV lamp and unfortunately it does not have a built-in timer so I use my phone as a timer for each interval so I know the ones at the nail salon when you put your hand in it turns on and then when the time's up um, the light turns off by itself this doesn't have that technology um, so you kind of have to keep your eye on the time and use a phone um, for as a timer So I'm just popping my hand into the UV lamp and you want to cure your nails for 90 seconds or a minute and 30 seconds. Once the time's up, you'll notice that there's like this sticky residue that develops once you take your hand out of the UV lamp. What you want to do is just whatever um, solution it was remaining on that cotton pad that we applied before, just do a once wipe over on top of the nails, not going in too hard. It does not disrupt the gel polish on the base, I promise. When I read this in the instructions, I was like, oh my god, I do not want to go in because I was afraid I was going to smudge it. But it's already been cured under the UV lamp, so it's not moving anywhere. So you just want to lightly remove that oily residue. Now for the fun part, I'm going in with the actual gel colour and this is one of the colours that came with the gel kit. It is called Seductress and it is a beautiful cherry red which I love. So I'm just making sure that the coats that I'm doing are not too thick otherwise it's not going to cure properly under the UV lamp and it may start peeling. Um, I'm not going to worry too much if there are parts that are not as opaque because it is recommended to do two coats and once you do the two coats you should have sufficiently covered the nail quite evenly. Now again I'm doing a light wipe over with that shine and soak solution ready for my second coat. Now I'm going in with the silver bottle which is the top coat and this is the final coat that you will need to do. How exciting. So you want to do just a thin layer of it, nothing too thick like with the other coats. And there you have it guys, there is that beautiful, beautiful high shine gel manicure that we all know and love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you did please subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos from me and you can also get that shout out. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!